<sighs> all right everyone hope everyone had a pretty good day <laughs> although the markets all over the place are not having such a good day all right so uh we're all going to do one video today because pretty much everyone's just recycling content they're covering tasha's wild magic i already did the video on that like last week or earlier this week so i don't really feel like doing the same thing and i don't really feel like doing any uh, research today all right simply because there's you know i mean there's just too much crap going on in the markets like full-on panic selling is just still going on you know right now i'm trying to see if bitcoin's going to drop below twenty-seven thousand because right now it's kind of steady surprisingly at 28k uh bonds are definitely just going straight down the yields that is right everyone is just terrified i'm noticing that the bonds are starting to sell off a little bit all right so we'll see how that goes like and like just full-on crazy panics going on all right uh something's not right here just give me a second uh because the nasdaq was supposed to be down two or three percent so this thing says one percent what or maybe I was just reading the numbers wrong earlier. Because CNBC said, all right. Well, whatever the case is, you know, everything is just kind of like in a free fall. And, of course, the dollar index is going straight up. So the good news is my Terra USD, BUSD, beefy finance play is doing really, really well. Like, I'm just, like, the problem is I'm dumping so much spare cash, like, from my minor projects mostly. And I even sold some, uh, like, two days worth of Sphere uh to get the cash and then put that into you know uh stable coin farming it's like yeah like if you look at oh. uh actually i could probably just click it because it's the first thing that we see if you actually look at this look at the daily apr in this this thing is 3.7 percent a day in stable coin farming i mean granted you have to buy up uh, terra usd but you know it's gonna come you know it's coming back it's already been coming back right you know the only reason why it's down is because crypto is down so if you assume that crypto will always be in this situation like what's happening now then i mean uh well then you're actually re retarded because it's like saying real estate will always be in a bear market because that's what everyone thought in 2008 2009 you you and i both know that's dumb all right it's part of the mark that's what markets do they go down a lot right and they stay down for a while and then they go straight up far more than be ever before and then it comes back down like up and down all right so so basically if you buy sphere or titanium you take on a lot of risk but you're getting about a little less than two percent a day here in stablecoin farming you have a lot less risk and you have twice the reward so it made me realize the reason why we always have to keep track of the dollar index and the bond markets is because it's the same thing scaled to the entire world right because there's risk free and then there's risk on as greg marino calls it and now that i've seen this dynamic personally in play it's like if i had ten thousand dollars in cash right now would i rather do this or would i buy sphere that is right now tumbling right you know, like, even if Sphere is, like, the greatest project in the world, which it is, I'm much better off just doing this instead. Because I get twice the reward, and there's a lot less risk. So it's a no-brainer. So, obviously, some people who actually have money, or smarter than you and me, right, or at least as smart as you and me, and have, a, uh, have money, they're going to be doing the same thing. Right? They're like, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm just going to dump it all. And then that's why we're seeing everything dump. So it's like, it's really kind of an eye-opening experience to actually see this happen in real time. Now, the problem is, I spent the past couple hours playing video games because I actually woke up at like 7, 11 a.m., not to be confused with the convenience store. And I was really thinking about dumping like half of my entire sphere bag just to go get dollars and then transfer it over to Beefy. But I'm like... I know that I really don't want to do that because I want to hold all the sphere I can. The timing sucks because now I'm starting to build up my cat US dollar cash position to balance out my my life portfolio essentially. Uh, and I know that this is way oversold, so I know the turnaround is right around the corner. The problem is I'm trying to time something that I don't know. It's like it's, it could be over later today, which would be ideal the bear uh the correction that is 
or it might take another two to four weeks. And that's just like a rough estimate. So, I don't know. I mean, just how much can you dump, right? I mean, at some point, you run out of stuff to dump. In fact, I'm seeing the bond yields come back up slowly. So that means people are dumping their bonds and going back into the markets, hopefully, because they're because people are holding cash. Yeah, I'm actually seeing things reverse a little bit. So yeah, it, it's just tough. But this watching this dynamic in play really is really eye opening. So you know, definitely keep that in mind because no matter how much money you make in crypto, you really do need to go into the dollar, all right, or rupee if you're in India, or I don't know what does Pakistan call their currency, the the, the, the Pakistani dollar. What is the Pakistan dollar called? It's really... <laughs> they use the rupee too? But isn't that India? Huh. See, that, what's weird is Pakistan and India are, are, are always at each other's throats, but they're pretty similar. I mean, they look pretty much the same to me. I mean, I can still kind of tell the difference between like a Pakistani and an Indian person, but it's pretty hard. Yeah, and they even have, they even call their currency the same thing. They, they call it the, the, the rupee. So I don't, so that always makes me wonder, why are they always at each other's throats, you know? It's, it's just never made any sense to me. All right, so yeah, so or use the yen or whatever, but basically just go into fiat, right? You know, or just get, you know, US dollars, whatever you want. Like DAI and BUSD for sure for decentralization. And then, of course, you know, you can choose you want to go with the tether and circle, or in my case, you want to buy up Terra USD because you know that's under a lot of pressure, but it's still, it's still, it's still doing pretty well. I mean, 60 cents. It's way better than what it was yesterday, all right? And it's just going to take uh, Do Kwan, you know, a little while for him to ride out this, you know, crypto market, and then things should be good. And hopefully he'll start, actually, Do Kwan. Uh, has he said anything new? He hasn't said anything new. All right, fine, whatever. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean... Even if you didn't want to do something crazy like what I'm doing, right? Maybe instead you want to do... Let's see. I mean, look at this. The... Oh, yeah, that's Terra. Yeah, look at... No, that's Terra. All right, can we get something that's not Terra? Yeah, so let's say you want to do Tether and Binance Dollar and Pancake Swap. Perfect. I would probably do this. You're already getting like 45... You're basically getting 45% APY on your dollar. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, that's actually my Hades star. I started playing that game again because don't have anything else to really deal with. Yeah, right, look at these, look at these APYs and stables right now. Everyone wants dollars so badly that you know the trading APR and Bolt and everything is just going just up the wazoo. So, you know, you could be farming dollars now, and then when everything that you think is bottomed out, you could take a little bit of your dollar profits and then just go buy whatever crypto you want. I bet most people would buy Sphere. I'm actually seeing. That despite Bitcoin and crypto going down, people are actually buying up Sphere, thank God. All right, and that's actually what ultimately convinced me not to sell any more Sphere. Uh, so I'm just going to try to ride this out. In the meantime, I'm just building up my dollar position. So it's still not as big as I'd like, but surprisingly, it's actually growing pretty well. And, and I'm getting 3.7% a day on it. Because <laughs> when Beefy Finance compounds that, that sucker... Oh boy, it's like I'm Scrooge McDuck, you know, swimming, uh, swimming in uh, piles of gold, right? Like Scrooge McDuck, swimming gold. All right, yeah, I'm. Uh, I used to love this. Uh, I used to love this show, Ducktales. Yeah, see, he's swimming in the gold. <laughs> That's so fun. I even played the game too, like for Nintendo. That was so fun. All right, so that's pretty much an overview of like pretty much everything. Um, because I spent so much time on that instead of this project, which really I just don't really have. I mean, it's just a minor project, so not much to say. I might actually change the title of this a little bit. So we'll we'll see. All right. Uh, okay.
So that so this project is basically an our baked beans fork. Nothing, uh, n none of none of the bells and whistles that we've come to like. So it's eight percent daily and five percent fee. So okay. Now you have to approve this because the way this works is this is actually part of another project called Piston something. I know I I don't I've never covered it because I didn't understand what it was. <clears throat> but I know they're probably in some sort of trouble like everyone else and then they've now created, you know, a minor project. So it's also using the same icon. So to help sustain the Piston project, I got to log into my thing here. To sustain their piston project, you know, they create a piston miner. So let's go to BSC. Yeah, pistontoken.com with a hyphen. All right, there's a race, there's an airdrop. I'm not going to cover piston, but basically this is just one of their, um, I don't know what I should call it. I guess I could really call it a satellite project to help, you know, boost the piston ecosystem. So, so I know that this should be legit. <clears throat> uh, can we see this? All right, so let's see. So according to this, one piston token costs $19.15. That's actually a lot. <clears throat> Is there a chart or are you gonna make me, uh, yeah, you're gonna make me. So this thing is probably on the BSC. Let me see. Let's see how how have they been doing during this crazy crazy market condition. I assume it's bad like everyone else. Okay, so Piston is actually doing really effing well. It's actually had a correct. It's actually having a correction now. Well, I guess good timing. So this is actually going to be a really big project though. Wow, they're they've been out since April third. Oh yeah, so this is actually a really big project then. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, in that case, um, well, in that case, I mean, this would have been ideal if they used Cropsfar or the BNB Miner uh, forking code because you really want to have those, you know, those controls in place. Otherwise, your contract's going to drain like crazy. Now, that being said, there's going to be plenty of hype in this project, and as of this video recording, it's going to launch in a little less than two hours. So, you know, so if you get in early, because I'm pretty sure this will not be a rug pull scam, but if you get uh, if you get in early and, I, and assuming that this project is related to the actual piston token, piston token dot squawk, do they, ha they have a Twitter, right? So are they, that's a nice picture actually. Uh, okay. So this project, so this piston miner might not actually be related to piston token, believe it or not. They just happen to be using the piston tokens. All right, so you might have to be careful about this because I don't because if it's launching in less than two hours, why don't I see a tweet about them on their Twitter? So just be careful that it might be a scam, because right? you know, because because a lot of scam projects rely on you just not looking at the contract. I know I don't really, right? So, except that one time for a couple days where I was trying to figure out the dilution problem. So, but assuming this is a, a legit project, yeah, I mean, you could probably uh, you could probably do this. I mean, I think they're related, but I don't know why there's no I mean, there's Piston Miner Official, which is a Twitter, but there's no link to their tw uh, I mean to their Telegram, but there's no link to Twitter. It's just these two links. So I don't know. That's the only thing I find a little sketchy. All right? I know Showtime's covering this and a couple, I forgot the other couple of YouTubers, but yeah. So anyway, uh, with that being said, you know, as long as they don't rug pull scam, um, yeah, I mean, I think you, this will probably do all right, especially if you're a fan of the Piston token, because this apparently is doing really well. So. I don't know, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, oh, and one other thing before I end this video. Someone just simply said Spooky Miner turned into a rug pull. It's like, first of all, a rug pull is when everything gets drained. When, not when it, when a project's failing. I didn't delete the comment, and I just simply responded, replied politely, but I do find it annoying that people that lose money just automatically assume everything's a rug pull. No, you dumbass. The project is failing. That's a, that's extremely different 
from literal, from an actual rug pull scam where they take all the money. All right, stop using the same word to describe everything. All right, that's very stupid and very annoying, and it's actually very confusing. All right, there's a big difference between a rug pull scam and a project that's failing. All right, that's why you lose money because you're stupid. All right, you don't use words properly. All right, so stop doing that. All right, I just find that I just find that very annoying. All right, because. You know, it's like saying, it, it's like, it's no different from going up to a cop and then telling, telling him, hey, there's a guy with a gun pointing it at people, all right? And that cop is going to go berserk and then kill someone and then turns out, like, that's not the case at all, all right? That, you know, that's actually what happened. Well, that's actually what happens here in America. Like, innocent people get killed because of stupid shit like that. So be really careful about the fucking words you use. All right, it's very irritating. All right. And on top of that, Spooky Myers not rug pulling. I can still withdraw, and there's still like ninety eight thousand phantom on it. So like, like what? It's not even close to zero. It's trending towards zero, but eventually it'll bottom out. Uh, that's actually what I've been noticing with failing minor projects. Because every every minor project that I'm in, they're still going. They're, it's still like the one that I was waiting for it to go to zero has like five Binance coin left, five point twenty seven. You know, I've been trying to withdraw whatever. I'm still going to take a loss on it, of course. But in the meantime, I'm still able to withdraw money from it. So, yeah. So these things can last a while, right? So, anyway. So that's that. That's the market overview. We're only doing this video today. So I gave you a little bit of everything. So, yeah. But you know my stance. Jeez. Ah, it's so difficult. I don't know. Do I want to sell my sphere, go into the dollar... And then take the gamble that I might be right, and then it's going to take a couple of weeks for this thing to fix itself, the markets. Or I look at the bond yields, and it's like, I don't know, man. I just don't know. I really just don't know. I mean, this looks like a bottom might be forming. <clears throat> well, what I do know is everyone's going uh, demanding dollars. So those dollars are going to be moving somewhere. Anyway, like, subscribe, share this video around. Um, thank you again to all the new and old people watching this video. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually just distracted because I'm thinking about what moves I want to make. But, anyway, I'm going to go back to gaming while I figure out what I want to do. Uh, chances are I'll probably just do nothing because XUC is also streaming. So, I kind of want to just, I just need a distraction. So, uh, yeah. Today is Thursday, right? God, it feels like a Friday. So, yeah, so enjoy the rest of your day or night, or at least try to, right? You know, the markets are not doing so hot, but, I mean, that's just how it goes. So, I mean, I'm doing all right, personally, of course. Hopefully all of you are, are the same way as well, but, man, I don't really know when this uh, fear and panic is going to be, uh, be done. I just know that it's just coming. The bottom is coming, but... <clears throat> I don't know, man. It's like this this correction seems to be lasting forever, right? I mean, I think CNBC or Yahoo actually said that Bitcoin is basically at the same level at the beginning of the year. So it's like, like this is just ridiculous what's going on in the crypto markets. It's like, it's like what the hell, man? I mean, again, this is why you just don't like super predators, right? You got your Black Rocks and Citadels and whatever, like, doing all this shady shit, right, along with the big banks. And it's just like, we just can't win, right? Our U.S. government is just sending a bunch of money over to, you know, that situation in Eastern Europe. And, and we actually have a food shortage here in America, specifically something called baby formula. And, then, like, nothing's being fucking done about it. It's like, I fucking hate like this whole shit show that we have to deal with today but that's just how it goes all right this is how it goes that's how it goes so you just have to endure and just get rich well you have to endure this pain and then when you endure it then when everything turns around then hopefully you still have all your stuff and then you know and then you get rich all right <laughs> but not before that Enjoy the rest of your day or night. I'll see you, I think, tomorrow. But I might actually just take, like, the next few days off. I mean, I really just don't feel like doing any work. You know, I already pumped out a lot of videos. But, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what, happen what happens. And, of course, I mean, I'm spending a lot more time working on my Twitter because I'm trying something else. I'm, I'm trying to retweet a couple people. 
just no comments. I just retweet, you know, very large, you know, engagement, right? That seems to actually be working pretty well. So, uh, so I'm working on that. I want to play my games. And of course, I need to spend a lot of time watching these markets carefully, you know, because, you know, the moment I actually think that this correction is going to go on for like a while, that definitely means I need to dump a lot of my sphere going into the dollar and just farm that, you know, sweet 3.7% daily, right? Which will eventually will come down a lot once everything stabilizes. But that's the thing. How long is it going to take? The longer it takes to stabilize, the longer I need to be uh, pumping more money in. And then I slowly pull out the profit from that to go, you know, buy crypto again. Because that, you know, that's just how it goes. Markets go down, dollar is king, cash is king. When the markets are skyrocketing, cash is like a peasant, right? Cash is the loser. You know, that's just how it goes. You're up and down and you swap places like musical chairs or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, spread this video around, you know, get it out there, you know, try to calm some nerves, I guess. All right. Uh, and of course, don't be a selfish prick. And uh, I think I'll see all of you tomorrow, you know, because right now, again, Crypto projects are just very, very dry right now. So I have to constantly do, you know, the XYZ research, which, I, you know, to be honest, I don't feel like doing that today uh, at all. And I might not feel like doing it tomorrow. So we'll see. You know, we'll see. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And, yeah, 21 and a half minutes. A lot of rambling. But we went over a lot of stuff. So, yeah.